Hi Aries, welcome to your Week Ahead Taroscope with me, Raphael, from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and if you should so choose and it resonates, hit that subscribe button. If you are already a continued subby, you know I love you for it. With that said, if you would like to book a personal reading with me, you can do so on the website address below. If you haven't got your seat on the Purpose Alignment webinar, it's on the 1st of February. Uh, it's just 11 pounds that's the same I think it's like the same price as a couple of coffees wherever you are in the world so with that said if you want to get your seat please hit the link in the description box below and the retrograde survival kit Mercury goes retrograde soon uh, keep that in mind there is currently 10 pounds off link in the description box below before we start as always I would like to bless all of my decks of cards with all forms of love light peace prosperity and abundance and I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good so let's have a look see what the week ahead has in store for you Aries as we go into February can you believe it all right so <clears throat> your actions and your path. You've got the Queen of Wands. Aries looks like you are not having any of it this week. You've got the Queen of Swords. Look at that. And the thing about this card is, yes, it's about what you're willing to fight for. But one of the things I always say about this, the Queen of Swords, yes, she might have a mouth like a sewer and a heart full of gold, but she is very fair. She will weigh up the situation. If she's wrong, she'll put her hands up. And if she's, if she's right, oh, trust me, you're in for it. She will let you know. The fact that this comes up in your actions and your path, this is about what you do, right? It's about how you show up in the world this week. Uh, and really, that's the feeling that I get from this. This is about you looking for fairness and equality. And it's kind of like this week, you're saying, you know what, I won't, I won't have anything else. If it's not right, if you know, if I'm in the wrong, then I'll put my hands up. But if I'm not, then oh, you better believe I'm going to wait for you to put your hands up. And if you won't, I'm going to push you to. So Aries, this week it looks like you are fighting a battle, but this isn't just about you know Aries being Aries and fighting battles. It's actually about you seeking to hear either an apology or get some form of retribution. Good for you. Stand your ground. All right, so your communications and conversations. This week, you've got the Magician card. You are a master communicator this week, right? This is about you. And look at this, right underneath the Queen of Swords. So although your actions are kind of saying one thing, your words are saying a completely different one. And it's kind of like, so this week, I think Aries is going to be acting more like the strategist, more like the general rather than the soldier. This isn't about you going in for a brute force attack. It's about you really finding ways to speak your truth that uh, ultimately carry the message of what is really important to you. So it's kind of like people are actually going to be hearing what you're saying and saying, you know what, actually this person's right. It's not just about them sounding off or shouting their mouth off. They're actually really, you know, what they're saying at base level is fundamentally correct and we have to agree with them. Whenever you see the Magician card, this is always uh, a card of true power, a card of true realization. It makes you a master communicator. For those of you that are public speakers, uh, coaches, uh, for those of you that are bosses, uh, for those of you that are having any kind of disputes, this could be a very good week for you. Uh, you could really come out on top. For those of you that are writers, for those of you that you know work with the pen or the, the typing, so to speak, as it mostly is nowadays, this is a really powerful week for you. You are being heard and seen in the best light. Use this to your advantage because if there is some sort of a battle, sorry, um, that you're fighting, the feeling that I get from this is you're going to be heard but in the right way. So make sure that you present the facts. Make sure you stick to that. This isn't about emotion. It's not about how you feel. It's about what is right. Okay, so keep that in mind this week. For your money and materials this week, you've got the King of Swords, right? So you've got the King and the Queen of Swords in close proximity. This is a week for contracts. It's a week for wrapping things up, putting a bow on it, finally having something completed and done. The fact that you've got the King of Swords in your uh, money and materials, a lot of you could be hearing this week, whether you're waiting for a settlement of some sort, whether you're waiting for some sort of funding, uh, maybe you're waiting on uh, a, you know, a, new, uh, a new type 
of money to come in. Maybe for some of you, you're waiting for that job offer or maybe even for that raise. This looks like a very good week for that. The thing is with the King of Swords though, this is very much about everything being above board. So I will say this, for those of you that are going for job interviews and stuff, do not over promise uh, if there's something that you can't do, make sure that you state that because when you see the King of Swords, you will be found out. The King of Swords is very, very thorough. This is a very powerful energy. Uh, it's also, you know, spells out sort of legal things as well. So for a lot of you, I feel like this is some sort of communication that comes in about the finances this week, about money that you're owed, money that you're entitled to. Maybe, um, you know, finances take a complete upswing, but it looks like whatever it is that's coming in is definitely here to stay so that's you know fantastic your love and relations you have the page of cups this is a gorgeous card for love and relations why do i say that because it's that very sort of dreamy lovey gushy intuitive sort of energy now because it is the page of cups and you've got like a very, you've got like a really serious concentration of air here. So you're gonna be seen as powerful, dynamic. What happens to fire when you feed it oxygen? It grows, right, in intensity and power. And there's gonna be a lot of that happening for you this week. But what's really gorgeous about it is, in your heart of hearts, you understand what the right thing to do is. It's kind of like this, this week, you're gonna be using your swords more in the case of defense and possibly in the case of defense for others. It could be this week that maybe you're, um, you know, you're standing up for somebody else that can't do it for themselves. But, you know, sometimes the best use of our sword or swords uh, is, uh, you know, all words, is uh, is defense, right? It's, it's protection rather than offense. So keep that in mind. For those of you that are single, um, this looks lovely. Uh, I will say this to you though, whoever it is that's kind of coming in this week could be very enamored with you. So they could be painting a picture in their mind of what, what you're like, but you know, it might not necessarily be accurate. So just make sure that you help somebody understand who you really are, as opposed to who they would like you to be. All right, for those of you that are partnered though, this looks lovely. Um, it just really feels for me like you're connecting with your partner on a really uh, warm, loving, in a w really warm, loving way. Uh, it does look like though, again, for some of you, maybe you're fighting a partner's battle. Maybe you're, you know, kind of going through something where, you know, a loved one comes under fire for something. Now, being an Aries, the only thing that I will say to you is, I think it's amazing that you, you know, stand and defend all of the people that you love, but it is also really important to ensure that that person is actually in the right before you go to war for them. All right, so your key to the week is the death card, right? So this is interesting because this feels for me, like I don't actually feel like it's necessarily, it's, I don't feel like it's a death of a person, but I do feel like there is a completion taking place here. And maybe this is it. Maybe it's that moment where you finally say, you know what, enough's enough. Somebody needs to step in. So this weekend, and that person looks like it's gonna be you, all right? So really interesting messages this reading for you guys. Um, yeah, that death card definitely says that something is on the close, something is on the horizon and is about to end. And I feel like the reason that it ends is because you finally step up or speak up. With that said, I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. Have a fantastic week. Let me know in the comments how it shapes up for you. Take care and I'll see you soon.